But it will be okay If it sounds like we're in the middle of a desert storm, we are in fact. Morning! <laughs> that was redo that. Good morning! Okay, 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 again, again, again. Okay. From the mud. <laughs> Botswana, <laughs> the Makati Kati pans. <laughs> the Makati Kati pans. Botswana, the Makati Kati pan. Peace sign. Peace sign. All of a sudden we pull in to like the coolest looking airport I've ever seen in my life. This guy is exactly who I wanted to be in my life. Coolest airport in the world goes to these guys. Guys, we have arrived. Most like proper vintage. You got to go and dig those holes. Those places where you feel like you've arrived to another place. With broken hands and withered souls, emancipated from all you? you know. You got to go and dig those holes. This is for sure mom and dad's room. We got exercise Wow, they do have exercise stuff. Hey, careful, careful. Careful, careful. Wow, it's big, huh? Whoa. I need to it's cupcake. Cool. What is that? Cupcake. No way. Are you serious? Don't worry, it's, it's not a circle. I thought it's only one. Cupcake. Is it comfortable? Is there a toilet paper in here? Yep. Wow. This is the strangest, <laughs> nicest toilet I've ever seen. It's like a throne. You feel like a king, man? Yeah. My turn. Rock. Room. This is our room. Oh. That'll be cool, huh? Let's check it out. Oh, wow. This is cool. Oh, look at this rug. Wow. Guys, this is a cool room. What a cool room. Good morning from Botswana. Come like this. Actually, Botswana. Hey, look at little boxes. Let's see what's in here. Be careful, be careful. I can't see what's in here. Oh, bug spray and an air horn. Do not play with that, okay? If you need help, just yell for mom and dad. Why can't we hoin it? Because it'll, it's so, so loud. It'll burst your eardrums. If you need help, just yell for mom and dad. We're just right over there. But it's a predator. Then yell for mom and dad. I'll come save you. What? We look a little sunburnt and windburnt. I just hope that we can do a good job of explaining the experience that is the Makati Kati Pan. It's incredible here. We are here at Sam's Camp in the Makati Kati Pans in Botswana, which is, first of all, we need to talk about what's a pan. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like a pan is just a forever ago dried up lake because it's deeper and then it slopes up on the sides and there's zero water now. So it's just forever, just perfectly flat, flat, sandy desert. clay. Noah, yes, can we ride on the top? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, oh, what do you say? Let's go, Ma. We ready. Look at us on top. When it gets dark, are we still going to stay? Uh, no, once it gets dark, we'll go down into the Jeep. Ready, Mina? You found a stick? Beautiful, huh? And then look at the shape of his head. Uh-huh. You see how it's kind of like a slope? Yeah. And the girls are a little more square heads. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Big bite. Big see bite. the reason why we don't have a lot of young palm trees? Yeah. <laughs> if you look, it's all these very tall palm trees here. Mm -hmm. and there's no middle-sized ones here. And uh, all these young ones, all these uh, palm trees that are still growing around us here. They're so coordinated with their trunk. Uh-huh. They're males and <laughs> One big male, one big ostrich, and the rest are savannah. Oh, yeah. ladies. Make a fire. All right, hold up. We thought the day was over, but then that was nuts, right? Oh, all right, so you didn't say thank you. Oh, <laughs> busted. Dang. All right, so. We thought the day was over, and then Sands Camp surprised us with a special Bushman eating. walk. I they said Bushman, and I thought it was Bushman. That's what they call it, no, but Bushman. that I mean that experience was much more. It needs to just be called the best cultural experience, cultural experience. possible here in I Botswana. Can't even explain. I can't remember the words because they speak in like clicks, and they taught us Love all it. these words, and it was awesome. Kelly, you want to shake your hand? What's the name of your village? When we are not going out for hunting, Here, Dorothy, I want you to try the throw part, okay? Hold it and put it in there. So when you scoop, they can't see it. And you put it in. See how I'm doing it? Guys, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> That's good. Oh, 
so we're walking around. They're teaching us about, you know, poop and stuff and sticks. And then... Hi. That happened. Did you like the bush one? Yeah. What did they teach you how to do? Make fire. Wow. So we're going to show you how to make fire. Oh, make fire. Make fire. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you want to go next, Dorothy? All right, put your hands out, Dorothy. Go. Go, man. Nice, huh? Kelly, do you want to do one or just watch? Okay. Okay. Callie, put your hands out to go next. Okay, kneel down, Callie. Okay, go for it. Nice. Hey. Can you use this? So now we can just put it so, is this better than uh, yes. Like yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So now he makes kind of a bowl with it. And then Manoa, do you want to hold it once they pour it in? Yeah. Right. There you go. Hold it like a bowl. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Does he hold it? Keep holding it. <laughs> Look out, Dorothy. Okay. Okay, keep holding it now. We'll see. Is it? Keep holding it. And then don't drop it, Mina. If it starts to light on fire, just slowly set it down on the dirt. Is it? It's coming. Keep going. Oh. Nice! Oh, yeah, buddy. Have <laughs> a short game. A game called non-contact martial arts. Okay. What was it? The game. Uh, I think it, it is. We have to confuse our open. Uh huh. Yeah. No one to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the arms have to relax at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is honestly there's this game right now where you like point up down across or whatever and it depends what they do I think it was kind of like that with singing and dancing. It looked awesome. It looked like a really fun time. Okay. I'd love to be a part of it sometime. <laughs> special to see a completely different culture completely different culture and how happy they are so i mean that's so and happy lovely. and so welcoming to yeah. let us just kind of like join in their Hang fun out with them for an hour or two that was cool. super lovely people we're super grateful thanks guys how do you say good morning hey yo what do you say hey yo hey yo hey yo hey yo how do you say <laughs> We're here in winter time. Can you hear it? Can you hear the winter? We're here in 
winter time and it's it's cold it's freezing it's and it's like windy cold Like piercing, freezing, cold. I mean, it's cold at night, it's cold during the day, it's cold in the morning. It, but also, wow. the, but I mean, like, we make do, and the best part is, is all five of us find a row in the safari jeep and just snuggle up and get it done. We call it the cuddle cave. We take our ponchos that are kind of windbreakers and we make a, something of a shelter, and then we all crawl inside and we use each other for warmth, kind of like meerkats. Yeah. Like meerkats. Everyone in the cuddle cave? My butt's kind of Mom, you here? <laughs> I can't see you. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Cuddle cave, bungalow's family roll call. Daddy here, mommy. Here. Jordi. Here. Where's Mina? Here. Callie? Here. I know, Burrow, Burrow. Back in the cuddle cave. Burrow. A few times in this video, I'm going to give our kids just the props that they deserve. They're incredible kids. Sometimes we're like, ah, oh, our kids are just average kids. Not this week. They were. What's the word? What's the right word? Troopers. All Troopers stars? to the max. Exactly. Yeah. It was so cold, and I don't know if I heard them complain about the cold once. No. Callie would be like frostbitten cheeks, just so red, borderline purple. <laughs> Callie just dumped to the cold. <laughs> it has so much energy. And I'm looking at him, waiting for him to like complain. We're even suggesting like, do you want to cover your face? You want to put on your adventure band? You want to put on a beanie? I think the, a like, the phrase that will always like stick with our family now is last night I was so cold. And so and whiny. No, I wasn't whiny at all. You asked me how I was doing. And I said, I'm all right. And I said, is anybody <laughs> else as cold? Like, is anybody else freezing? Pause because you're making it sound like you weren't complaining. I wasn't Even complaining. Instant reflex. You asked me how, you asked me. I was keeping. Ask me, uh, you're, you're me. How are, you, how are you doing? I'm all right. <laughs> what did you want so me to do? So he's not whining, but what like. What did you want me to do? I'm just saying, the you're kids were being like, troopers, great. and then there's mom. Okay, so when cold. Dorothy says the quote of the trip, which I was like, is anybody else cold? And then Dorothy goes, we're all cold, mom. We're just doing a better job of keeping it together. Dorothy said that too, Mom. Uh, uh, I loved it and I support it 100%. You burst out laughing. We all thought oh, it was so no, funny. Oh, no, it was so funny. We're so, all cold, Mom. We're just keeping it together. The whole family, honestly, the whole way, everybody kept it together. That's going to be forever just a bug of this quote. We're just keeping it together. We're keeping it together. Show me the bush, baby. You good in the middle? Right there. I got the shirt. I got beans. I got... The bush, baby? You know what I'm struggling with? Like, would you recommend this place to other people? Because the easy answer is like, absolutely yes. We loved it, but is the, it for everyone? This is for the adventurer. This is one of those like bucket list experiences that you gotta be game. Basically, I'm challenging you guys. If this video scares you, this place is not for you. It's pretty rough and tough, but if you're willing to step outside your comfort no, zone and be these part of moments, adventurous, you're... The moments are worth it. A top 10 place for us, for sure. So one afternoon, we got together with the rest of the camp and we all went out on four-wheelers. Yo, you guys are looking awesome. Let me see, Kelly. Who helped you do that? So why don't you have one? Our guide, I gotta get mine. Good, there you go. All right. You going good? You wanna drive for a little bit? Hey, don't go too fast, okay? You can drive if you go medium. Woohoo! Keep going. You got it. Push harder, okay? All the way. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. A little bit harder. You know what song I'm gonna use for this? Morgan, my best friend from Utah, sent me this song and just said, I heard this song and it made me think of you. Oh. It was the greatest compliment when you hear this song and it's gonna work perfect for this moment. We're gonna go a little bit faster, you okay? Okay, hold on, okay? Right, 
feel like this is what it would be like to walk on the moon. Can you hear that? I'm from outer space. I got Milky Way from thought evolution in my veins. I get to train like this. <laughs> Alright, mom, you got a little side luggage here. You good? I'm proud of you. You've come so far since you were four years old. Crashing the four years. walking on the moon and we have stayed the night in some pretty cool places We're sleeping on the moon. but never before look at this. have we seen mm. a place like this look at this wow look at this wow all right so this is such a random place what is it that brought us here to the makadakadi pants about two years ago when we were in Africa, we had some friends who have traveled extensively in Africa and they told us you have to go to Sands Camp, to the Pakati Desert, to see the meerkats. Meerkats, you say? This is our summer semester on safari. <laughs> this week, we're talking about meerkats. You gotta do it faster. Good morning. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. This week, we're talking about meerkats. Occasionally in wildlife, there are those experiences that you can have where the wildlife breaks down that barrier that should always exist well between said. between like humans and wildlife. And occasionally that barrier is broken down and this is one of those cases when the meerkats are used to the humans and they use them as an asset in their day. The meerkats wake up every morning bright and early and they peek out of their holes and they look around and if there's visitors there that are quietly sitting nearby, they will come perch themselves on top of them to get a better vantage point. What is it? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. <laughs> hey guys, don't be scared. I'll never forget the first time we were driving in the safari truck and then we spotted off in the distance the meerkats. The kids were so excited, but we still didn't know what to expect. I told you they go in there too. We didn't really know what to expect. They were running around foraging for food and Manila just kind of went to a soft spot, laid down, and one just slowly, slowly walked right up to him, climbed on his back, and then onto his head. And it was... It was so special. I mean, it just made Manila feel so special because we were all trying to interact with the meerkats that they chose Manila. He was thrilled. And the rest of the day, he was like, they chose me. I think as like middle kid, <laughs> when you feel seen, it goes a long way. So thank you to that meerkat. <laughs> I really appreciate you. Heartbeats only happen one at a time, one at a time. You can't rush a moment, so don't even try, don't even try. There's a symphony you're missing. If you only listen, you'll find big magic in the
loved it. Manila felt so special when one climbed up on his head. Well, what a special experience when then Dorothy asked to share Manila's meerkat. And so Dorothy kind of put her forehead a against Manila's. A little Manila's, bit higher. But slightly higher. And it transferred from Manila's head up onto My Dorothy's. My favorite part is when it's like, on Manila's head, but then it's like hands are perched on Dorothy's head. There's no use in chasing nickels and dimes, nickels and dimes. Riches all around you, open your eyes, open your eyes. You're after, so don't even try Cause you'll find Big magic in the mundane The big picture in a small frame Everything is sacred when you take time to notice Big love happens in the small moments Big love happens in the small moments Meerkats will um, um, climb on your back and then jump off your shoes onto your head, and then they'll like. That's what happened to you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maybe it, <laughs> Maybe it happens to everyone. And then when you hold still, they climb on your head, and then and then you stand on top of their head like this. Both arms sitting back. And they would look for lions. They look for lions because they're scared of them. They look for them so they can run away. Okay, Callie, what do meerkats eat? Frogs, lizards, and mostly, so we're safe, eat poisonous snakes, not poisonous snakes. They eat not poisonous snakes, and they also eat um, scorpions. Yeah, they also eat scorpions, and um, um, when um, they have this <coughs> thing that goes down their legs up here and on their arms, it's black. The, like over here on this belly is yeah, black. like there's and the outside is brown. Mm -hmm. they look or they or they like soak up the sun and so they get warm because yeah. it's really cold. Here. Or they, they go on your pants. Lions are meerkats herbivores or carnivores? Carnivores. Yeah, because they eat. They eat meat and they also eat. Insects. What sounds do they make? Oh, they make yerk, yerk. No. Yeah, they make it inside their voice, it's like beatbox, like, like this. No, this is what they go like. They like it's kind of like a meowing. It's like. So meerkats have the same thing as cheetahs. They have little black spots on their eyes. And it's, and it's like sunglasses, and they also kind of look like sunglasses. Yeah. So it protects them, their eyes from the sun. It's my eye. <laughs> so this is how they hug, and it, sometimes they cuddle like this, or sometimes they cuddle uh, like this. Yeah, like this. Okay. Or sometimes they hug, they hug like this. No, oh, get up. <laughs> okay. Sometimes they hug like this, and it's super cute. And, oh, and, and do you know monkeys hold on to their chest like We're not like talking about monkeys. We're not talking about monkeys. We're talking about monkeys. <laughs> How monkeys, bro. So we went two times and the first time they climbed on me and Manila, but then the second time Mom's got breakfast muffins. Kids are already in the car. Being crazy. So say him. As the sun rises. Why has he got so much energy? Oh, they got a meerkat dance. There's a meerkat dance? What does it look like? <laughs> it's perfect. Okay, now, Callie, show us the meerkat dance. Okay, stand up. Shake it all, baby, shake it all, baby. I shake it all, baby, shake it all, baby. I shake.
of my life experience. <laughs> <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Guys, not too loud. Listen up. Live report from Botswana. We're currently laying on a meerkat mound in the dirt. <laughs> hoping that the meerkats will wake up and come. We're going to play the sun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this, so we went two times and the first time they climbed on me and Manila, but then the second time they climbed on all of us and they started snuggling us and I scratched one's back. Cause you'll find big magic in the mundane, the big picture in a small frame. Everything is sacred when you take time to notice. Big love happens in the small moments. Big love happens in the small moments. In nature, there's something called a symbiotic relationship where two different creatures work together to benefit each other. We like to think that we have a <laughs> symbiotic relationship with the meerkats yep. where we were able to just really enjoy being in their presence and we hopefully, you know, provided them a little bit of better vantage point. There was one point where all the meerkats were kind of scattering and starting to forge for food and then all of a sudden they all got spooked and where did they go? They like ran to us for shelter. And then they spent the next like 15 minutes just kind of like hiding in like a little like. They were using us to stay warm, using us to look around for more danger. I loved being their safe place. We were their, their cuddle cave. We were their cuddle cave. <gasps> we were the cuddle cave of the <laughs> Sometimes I lay under the moon I thank God I'm breathing And then I pray, don't take me soon I am here for a reason We gotta give special props to our kids for just being the most absolute special troopers in this experience because it was so important with these meerkats to be perfectly calm, quiet, still, and above all, patient. Yeah. Like it was so cold and the conditions and were windy. so rough. Yeah, and, and we had to wait a while. The meerkats, they don't like the wind. And so they sat in their holes for a while before we coming out. We arrived, we woke up so early before the sun in the freezing cold. We, will, we arrived at the meerkats at 7.30. They didn't actually climb until out after 9 a.m. until like 9.15. So we were waiting there in the freezing cold and the kids didn't complain a single time. They kept it together. Just keeping it together. Like this. Callie, what did the meerkats do to you? They did this. They did this. Ugh, you don't have to. <laughs> so they oh, got it. So they went. Toy. See, they went on their ship. His ship. They climbed over. Yeah, they this. I'm no, you don't need to. Thank you to our wonderful guide. Oh, Villa, such a cool guy. Thank you so much. Thank you to the great meerkats. Everyone here at this camp was so good with our kids, especially yeah. helping them stay warm. 
Thank you to the meerkat. Yeah, shout out to that meerkat that <laughs> was a sweetie to Manila. Uh-huh. And um, we're going to put a link in the description to the property, and we hope you check it out. We're gonna, As well as to your book. As well as to my book. Uh, check that out as well. Until next time, guys.